What's going on collectors? Optical20 here for another Hot Toys video review. Uh, this time it's the Star Wars. Don't worry about my intro here. I lost the template, so I'm just gonna use uh, <laughs> uh, Episode 7 still. Uh, it says Obi-Wan Kenobi. That's even wrong. But this is actually the uh, First Order Stormtrooper. that I'm, The single pack, not the dual pack. That I'm reviewing right now. Um, it's um, something that I got as a background for my... Uh, Kylo Ren so yeah, I, I can opt out for the two-pack, but it's I, I feel like it's too expensive It's 300. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're gonna come down in price pretty soon So you can see here from the box pretty standard from uh, Hot Toys figure it has the two-tone black and gray and in the back pretty minimal it says first order stormtrooper um, And honestly, I'm not a big fan of the big gunner look I'd rather have two of these regular stormtrooper because I think they're more I don't know, they just look better as far as building an army compared to the uh, heavy gunner. Although, you know, it, uh, the heavy gunner looks good as well. But as you can see there, um, you know, the, the inlay cover, you know, just pretty standard. You can take this off and you can see the figure itself with pretty much nothing. <laughs> there you go. Um, this one retails for, I believe, $220. Which is way overpriced in my opinion. This is what it comes with. Kind of similar to, um, you know, the regular Stormtrooper. Although there's a white um, portion on his trigger finger and his thumb. And as you can see there, it's a nice detail. It's padded inside. I don't know why. Uh, maybe they lift weights or something. Who knows? Uh, maybe they lift heavy. There you go. There's the white um, kind of not armor maybe on you know the back of the palm of their hands and also he comes with two blaster uh, this one is the longer one kind of like the long it's it's like a modified version of whatever the stormtroopers are using at least from the old version the one that you saw me review on uh, I believe that's pop not pop toys but um, you know something the bootleg one and I believe they're the same way as the um, you know the regular stormtroopers the old school ones but a different paint job and it's not bad you know honestly i don't I, at first the design not only this gun i mean it, it does mimic the old one so you know kind of homage to the uh, you know the classic version obviously even the the overall design of the stormtrooper but you know they gotta make it a little bit different i i get that at first it, it kind of grew on me now you know this is his kind of like handgun version pretty cool as well but it, it grew on me and it's 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 okay i don't i don't mind it i don't hate it but you know certainly it doesn't beat the classics so to speak and there you go the design pretty similar you know a few differences here and there but the entire concept is there the um you know the overall aesthetic the feel you still know it's a stormtrooper you know there's so many variants of stormtrooper that if you're not a big um star wars fan or you're not into you know all the details nitty gritty you're still gonna think this is you're still gonna know because my wife is not a big fan of you know I, she is a fan but you know she doesn't know all the details she would think this is from star wars episode 4 um or whatever episode like maybe old star wars or so and this is one of the problems as you can see you know it's limited possibility uh there's this um i don't know what do you call this it's rubber slash plastic material uh com it's not like what you saw on the previous stormtrooper i mean at least on mine is fabric the one on you know the bootleg version so there's a lot of mobility there's you know one thing i like is that that part right there but yeah it, this one looks like one of those um i don't know those plastic spring type thingy so it, it doesn't really give you enough movement or range of articulation so to speak uh, the boot is two parts, so at least that's good. So I, I have no idea. Even the legs, my God, it's it's just stiff. One positive is this um, thing right here on his leg, which is magnetized, so you don't really need anything else. But you know, you just clamp it on and it stays. Uh, from the old stormtroopers, you do, I don't know if you guys remember, they they get they have a belt that you know they holster their gun. Uh, it it's eliminated on this version even on the leg side you can see there it's, that's a big problem when you're bending his legs um the detonator thermal detonator it's it's attached now to his back unlike the older ones you can see there's a zipper right there on his neck 
So I guess you can take it out, you know, I don't know, open it up and take it out, but it's, I mean, aesthetically, I guess looks good, but at the same time, my, my goodness, it takes away any, you know, all the articulation. It's a stormtrooper, you know, you want them kneeling down, you know, all sorts of poses, and it was made possible from the old one, and I, I understand that, you know, they want to be aesthetically accurate as possible, but I'm sure there, there's other materials out there who's gonna, you know, I, and I'm guessing that's there's two reasons why this one didn't sell well or any storm or this stormtroopers and then the older stormtroopers are sold out right off the bat um a they they, they flooded the market uh, b you know people who maybe just didn't like the classic that much and maybe c it's because you know it just doesn't have the articulation and the the you know the head sculpt the helmet sculpt Kind of resembles you the old one it's it's a mix of old and new he looks like a frog to me um with a carbon fiber inside which is okay it's i don't hate it i don't love it either i still i'm still in i'm just an older guy you know i'm i'm in always in for the classic i think it's a better look but i don't hate it you know i welcome the look um and we'll throw in a, a few poses and we'll wrap this thing up and because a few by by that i mean two because i can't really move him you know, I'm pretty sure there's other guys. I don't know how they did it on the prototype pictures where the other guy is kneeling down. It's impossible. It's, I mean, try moving the legs. Uh, it's worth, I mean, at least with the Batman Begins, which is by far, I wouldn't say my non posable figure, but I, I'm kind of scared to pose him because he's rare. Uh, Batman Begins, the at least the, the exclusive version. Uh, he's rare, so I don't want to, you know, create any crease or any, and he's fragile too, you know, you heard about the ankles and all that stuff. But at the same time, um, you know, it's, it's Batman, so you don't really need dynamic poses with him, unlike with this guy. I mean, if you market it as him kneeling down and shooting someone, then he should be able to do it, you know? Because that's, that's deception right there. That's false marketing. Although maybe they either use Photoshop or that was a prototype version where, they, you know, they used a different type of leather inside. I don't know what they used on those pants underneath those, you know, white armor thingies. But, um, yeah, they're stiff. They're really stiff. Um, there you go. And in this one, I can't even make him look, you know, like looking through the scope. I guess it's all perspective because all the shots that you've seen is kind of like this one. You know, so in that regards, you know, you can make the health tilt going this way. Maybe I, maybe you could, you know, maybe I'm just frustrated right now because I can't post the, the heck out of this guy. Our movement, it, it, it's, it's kind of there. It's just you saw the, um, you know, how he bends his elbow. I'm assuming it's double jointed elbows, but you can't really use it because of, you know, that, that plastic thingy on his elbow. Um, overall make him they should be at 120 dollars in my opinion with or without any movements restriction there's no head sculpt i know they paid unlike the other toy that i bought which is bootleg version i know they paid license and all that stuff but you want to encourage people to build an army but you can't price them 200 dollars or 220 dollars it's just absurd um does it look good aesthetically it, it looks amazing it's i think it's accurate at the same time i'm not really keen into details when it comes to this guys um he's a background guy you know uh i don't know what to say uh, i wouldn't recommend this uh for the full price wait for it to go on sale ideally you want it to be at least 120 of course it's not gonna happen maybe 150 should have been 150 at least or 160 not 220 220 is just absurd if you included shipping then it'll come down to like 240 for a single stormtrooper uh yeah i don't think the price is justified but you know they look good right next to kylo ren i'm gonna give you that and if you have other heroes you know like even the the old school chewy in han solo you tried posing it with him it still works so is it accurate yes i guess you know are you getting your money's worth absolutely not you can see the accessories that it comes with you know hands and you know the two guns that he's holding so well thank you for watching guys and please like or subscribe until next time